Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name's Mel. Thank you so much for joining me today for a very exciting readathon announcement. So today I am honoured to be announcing to you the Indie Accords readathon. This readathon has been created by my good friend Lana over at Law and Lullabies. It will run for the entire month of July and the aim of the readathon is to celebrate indie authors and indie publishers. So like I just said, it is a month-long readathon. It is running throughout the entire month of July. It will start at midnight on the 1st of July in your time zone and end at midnight on the 31st of July in your time zone. Also, like I said, the aim of the readathon is to read independent books. Anything that has been published by an independent publisher, a boutique publisher or self-published will count towards the readathon. The readathon has four teams and each team has a team leader. I'm very excited to be one of the team leaders. So let's go through and talk about all of those teams now. Team number one is the sci-fi fantasy team and the team leader for that is Lena from Sufficiently Advanced Lena. Team number two is the horror, thriller and mystery team and the leader for that team is Leslie from The Nerdy Narrative. Team number three is the contemporary literary and historical fiction team and I am the team leader for that team. And team number four is the romance team and the team leader for that team is Chelsea from Chelsea Zayo. All of my amazing fellow team leaders and of course our wonderful host YouTube channels and Lana's blog will be in the description below so I definitely recommend that you go and check everyone out. They're all absolutely amazing bookish creators and I'm really excited to be a part of this incredible leadership team. I will of course be including everyone's announcement videos as they come out in the description below and I will also include Lana's blog post where she explains everything about the readathon as well in the description below. There are a variety of different ways that you can engage with the readathon on social media and all of that is in the description below as well so we have an instagram we have a twitter and we have a discord where we can all chat and share our experiences as well there is a competition element to the readathon and there are two prizes that you could potentially win for competing and completing the readathon. As you would imagine, as there are prizes and competition, there are a number of rules that you need to follow in order to complete the readathon, and I will detail all of that for you in a minute. If you don't want to participate in the competition side of things, you can still do the readathon, but you won't be entered into the giveaway and potentially win the prizes. Okay, so the competition rules are as follows. First of all, you do need to choose a team and you do need to sign up to the readathon and declare which team you have chosen. There is a sign up form which I have linked in the description below as well. You need to make that decision and fill in the sign up form by the 28th of June. You also need to declare your TBR, so all the books that you intend to read for the readathon. And you need to do that on any of your socials by the 30th of June. So you can declare your TBR in a booktube video, on booktalk, in an Instagram post, on a book tweet post, a book tweet, or on a blog. When you do that, you do need to include the hashtag India Accords Readathon and also at India Accords so that we can find you. Any kind of book will count towards the readathon as long as it is an indie book. So like I said, Anything that has been published by an independent publishing house, published by a boutique publisher or self-published will count. As long as the book actually appears on Goodreads, so you can read an audio book, you can read manga, a graphic novel, you can read a novella, you can read a short story. Like I said, as long as it appears on Goodreads, it will count towards the readathon. In order to enter the giveaway, you do need to earn points. There are a number of different ways you can do that, so I'll go through all of that in a moment. You do have to read a minimum of five books and earn a minimum of 150 points in order to be eligible for the giveaway. All right, so how do you earn the points? Well, 
First of all, there is a bingo board with eight different prompts that you can complete in order to gain points. I'll go through the bingo board and give you more details about the prompts in a minute as well. But just to let you know that each prompt will earn you 30 points. To get the full 30 points per prompt, you do need to read within your team's genre. If you don't read in your team's genre, you still earn points, but you only earn 15 points. In a similar fashion, if you read books that don't fit any prompts, you can still do that. You'll still earn points, but again, it will only be 15 points. There are two other ways that you can earn points by reading the group book and the team books. So there is a group book for the entire readathon and that is A Court of Ash and Honey by Shannon Mayer and Kelly St. Clair. And if you read that book, then you will earn 20 points. And each team has a team book. And if you read that book, you will get 20 points as well. I will give you more details about those books at the end of the video. So prompts, let's go through all of that now. So as I said before, there is a bingo board and I will put it up here on the screen again. There are seven reading prompts on the bingo board and one bookish prompt. So like I said, each of those can potentially earn you 30 points. You can double up or triple up on the reading prompts and read a book that fits a number of prompts if you want to, but each prompt will only count towards your total if you read one book for that prompt. So every, every book will only have one prompt count towards it, if that makes sense. And don't forget, you do need to read at least five books throughout the month to be eligible for the giveaway. Also, although you do have to declare your TBR by the end of June, the TBR can change throughout the readathon. So if you decide that you actually aren't in the mood for a particular book, or you realize that it meets two prompts and you find another book that will meet the second prompt better, then you can change your TBR throughout the readathon as well. Okay, so let's go through the bingo board and talk about all the prompts there. And then I'll talk about the group book and the team books. There are actually two bingo boards. So the first one has the prompt name on it and the second one has a prompt description. So I'll swap between the two as I talk about them. So starting from the top left hand corner and going along and down and along. The first prompt is I, do we have an accord? And for that one, you need to read a book that features pirates or is set by the sea. Next one along is out of this world. And for that prompt, you need to read a dystopian. Next prompt along is everything hurts. And for this one, you need to read a book that features a middle-aged main character. So middle row now and the left tile is one heart and for this prompt you need to read a book that features lgbtqia plus representation now the middle prompt is the non reading but the bookish prompt the middle prompt is to leave a review on one of the books that you read throughout the readathon you can leave this on goodreads you can write a blog post you can do a Instagram review, wherever you'd like to do that. The aim is to leave a review for at least one of the books that you read in the readathon. The next prompt along is The Journey Unknown. And for this, you need to read a book featuring a quest. Onto the bottom row now. And the first one on the left is Hard Yakka. For those of you that don't know who aren't Australian, Hard Yakka is an Australian slang that basically means something's really hard going, really hard work. For this prompt, you need to read a book that is written by an Australian or New Zealand author. Essentially this one is there because Lana is actually a New Zealander living in Australia so we like to see ourselves represented. <laughs> the next prompt along is You Are Not Alone and for this you need to read a book that features an ensemble cast or a platonic friendship. And then finally is the prompt The Little Guy. And for this one, you need to read an independent middle grade. And now on to the group and team reads. So the group read, as I said, is the book A Court of Honey and Ash, written by Shannon Mayer and Kelly St. Clair. I am looking down because I've got all the details here. I don't really know a huge amount about this book, so I'm just going to read you the synopsis that Lana has put on her blog post. Orphaned. 
trained to fight, raised to fear the power of Underhill, secretly in love with a man who doesn't want me. I'm still just Ali, aka the half-human orphan fae, but my life is looking up for the first time. It only took me my whole 24 years. But when Underhill, the ancestral home of the fae, shatters, making it impossible for any fae to enter, I'm the only one who knows who did it. A secret that will be the death of me if I do nothing. A brutal madness spreads through the Fae as they lose their connection to Underhill. And to save my people, my only choice is to leave all I have fought for and go on the run. Unless I figure out how the hell magic that has existed since the dawn of time was destroyed with a single touch, well, an entire life spent fighting to prove myself isn't going to mean anything at all. I must find the answer to the riddle of Underhill's shattering, hunted by the very man I loved once upon a time. That sounds amazing, and I'm really excited to read it now. So that is the group book. Um, and yeah, reading that book will earn you 20 points. I personally think it sounds incredible. It doesn't come out until the 6th of July, I don't think, but... It's a month-long readathon, so that still gives us heaps of time to read it, to get it, and to read it. All right, so now on to the team reads. So I am team number three, but I'm going to do our team, or my team, last. For team fantasy science fiction, Lana has chosen The Sword of Kaigen by M.L. Wang. And I don't know really anything about this one either. I do know that it's pretty popular on BookTube at the moment. I know that Lena really, really enjoyed it. Assumedly, that's why she's chosen it. So it's a reread for Lena. It sounds really interesting. And at some point, I would love to pick it up, but not for this readathon because I'm not reading fantasy in this readathon. For team horror, thriller, and mystery, Leslie has chosen Patience of a Dead Man by Michael Clark. Once again, I really know pretty much nothing about this book either. It does look very intriguing though. So yeah, I'm sure that Leslie has chosen a fantastic book. So that's that one. For Team Romance, Chelsea has chosen Along for the Ride by Mimi Grace. Chelsea did outline what this book is about in her own announcement video, which again is linked in the description below. It sounded really interesting. I don't really remember that much about it though. I apologize, Chelsea. Um, but yeah, it looks really interesting. And then for my team, for team historical, literary, and contemporary fiction, I have chosen... The Rain Heron by Robbie Arnett. First of all, look at this cover. Isn't that just beautiful? Um, so this one actually will fit a number of the different prompts. It is a dystopian. It's set by the sea. It's written by an Australian author. Um, so yeah, it'll fit any number of those prompts as well, which would get you 30 points as well as the 20 you'll get for reading the team book. I'm just going to read the back of the book for you because I do think that that would be much better at giving you an idea of what this book about is about than I will. Okay, so Ren lives alone on the remote frontier of a country devastated by a coup. High on the forested slopes, she survives by hunting and trading and forgetting. But when a young soldier comes to the mountains in search of a local myth, Ren is inexorably drawn into her impossible mission. As their lives entwine, unravel and erupt, as myths merge with reality, both Ren and the soldier are forced to confront what they regret, what they love and what they fear. Robbie Arnott's stunning second novel remakes our relationship with the natural world. The Rain Heron is equal parts horror and wonder and utterly gripping. So uh, basically I picked this book because it sounded like it would fit a lot of the prompts. It sounded really interesting. It is literary fiction and yeah, I think it sounds really, really interesting and really amazing. I have not read anything from Robbie Arnott before, but I have heard really great things about both this one and his first book, which is called Flames. Um, so yeah, I really hope that anyone that is thinking of joining my team really likes the sound of this one and will enjoy reading it with me. Okay, so that is everything that you need to know for the readathon. If you are thinking of joining my team, that would be super amazing. If you're thinking of joining the any of the other teams, that would also be super amazing. Don't forget that whatever team you do decide to join, you need to sign up and 
choose your team by the 28th of June. Again, the sign up form is in the description below, so you can go and do that right now. And yeah, that's it from me today, guys. Please comment below if you have any thoughts on the Rain Heron. If you are thinking of joining the Readathon, let me know which team you are interested in joining. If you would like to leave a comment but you don't know what, in honor of the beautiful Rain Heron cover, please leave me some kind of bird emoji. All of my social media details are in the description below, so if you want to go and find me on any of those platforms, please feel free to do so. Thank you so much for watching. I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Leave me a thumbs up. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.